Elephants, you know, are the big animals. Um, females can get up to four tons and males uh, up to six tons. So they eat a lot. And uh, during dry season, you, you'll find them, uh, if we don't have enough uh, grass around, they, they have to knock the trees down and uh, get the leaves or maybe the, the bark of the tree. Uh, while they, they're doing this, they're always uh, a little bit destructive. So uh, like Masai Mara, you know, if you look at the pictures of Masai Mara in 1960s and 1950s, it was more forested. Uh, by these, guy, these elephants, you know, knocking the trees down, uh, they have reduced the number of forests in um, the, the amount of forests in the in the Masai Mara, uh, opening up uh, into uh, savanna grasslands. And uh, you see, when we have a lot of uh, grass, then it means the herbivores or the grass eaters uh, will get enough to eat, and they will mat multiply. For example, uh, the wildebeest and zebras, you know, they will uh, multiply very fast. And actually, this is how the migration thing came about. Uh, they say. Uh, earlier than uh, 1960s, we never had migration in Masai Mara because it, it was more forested. But the elephants have opened up its open grassland area and we have about 2 million animals that migrate. We are talking about 1, 1. 1.5 million wildebeest that come in and out. We have about 200,000 zebras. We have about 200,000 Thompson gazelles. And we have about 100,000 elands that participate in the migration of uh, uh, the wildebeest migration on a yearly basis. Uh, they are actually dancing to the tunes of rainfall and availability of water. So they are like making a, a, a circuit of a, a, around a, a thousand kilometers every year. So like in the Masai Mara, they come, we usually expect them uh, from July all the way, they stay all the way to uh, the end of October. And then they just head south uh, toward the Serengeti. Uh, whereby they get their young ones between Ngorongoro Crater and Serengeti. And again, uh, they do so because of the, um, the the volcanic soil between the two parks, Ngorongoro and Serengeti. Because the, these wildebeest, they need that uh, minerals from these uh, volcanic ashes for the, for the lactating mothers. The elephants eat a lot. They eat a lot, but they digest very little. Uh, they're not very good digesters, so you will find they digest only 44% of what they eat. Uh, the rest is just a waste. So most of the time, if you look into the elephant dung, you'll find a lot of, uh, of uh, fruits, undigested fruits, seeds. So they are very good in uh, disposing trees, you know, like planting trees, from, transferring trees from one place to another. And, uh, you know, when they drop the dung with all this, these seeds, uh, they will lie dormant until it rains. When it rains, they just sprout and we have new trees growing up.